Alright, hey everyone, it is Destroyers of the Wizard World here, and, um, this is a, uh, after, after mic recording, because I already did this battle, but I did not feel like turning on the mic, so I didn't, and I wanted to talk about this, so I decided, like, okay, let's just do an after recording, just to keep everybody interested in everything. So, um, what happened in this match was that, um, I did win from second on a guy with over 2,000 rank and over 70, 70 balance resist and 300 block. Um, I don't want to spoil it, so if I, if you want spoilers, I'll say it right now, but you can skip to this time that is on the screen right now. Skip to that time if you don't want any spoilers, because I'm going to start it right now. Okay. So what happened in these spoilers were that um, I won, but he did not see what I did coming. What I used to win was Dark Nova, and I've shown you guys Dark Nova killings a lot of times in this tournament. And um, what I did was I Dark nova he shielded, but he didn't know that I was going to use a Savage Paw. So he he was wondering like oh what am I gonna do? He balanced and dispelled me, but I used I got another shadow strike and I used I mean another shadow pip and I used shadow strike. So he didn't so that um that dispel was pretty worthless worth worthless. Okay? And then he decided to shield but the shadow strike already took place. And by the time he shielded, I used a feint on him. And since once you use three traps or blades on a Dark Nova, it adds an extra trap to it. So it added an extra trap, and altogether the damage completely did um, uh, 6,000 damage, around 6,000 damage. And you see, I was holding my Savage Paw, and I was holding my Dark Nova in my hand just in case I may happen to need it. And I had my. Um, my aura, my bubble in my hand just in case like I wouldn't get an extra shadow pit. Maybe I could find another Savage Paul to use on, on Chase. Luckily, all my cards and shadow pips rolled into perfect place and you will see what actually happened in this match. Okay, so right here Chase did dispel me, balance dispel. And uh, he thought I lured so we had like a small tiny conflict. Not really like much of a conflict, but he thought I was going to lure and I did not lure or I think I didn't even have any lures in this entire match. So, um, yeah. And also, uh, just enjoy the match. Watch everything. Um, it's not that long because the battle was sort of quick, but um, it's still good at least. Good enough. So yeah, enjoy the match, and I'll come back to you guys when I have more stuff to talk about. Alright, so this is the part where I did get Dark Nova, and um, I had a strike, luckily, in my hand too. So I was hoping, I was praying to myself that I'd get another Shadow Pip, lucky enough to get that strike on. Um, I'm surprised why Chase did not hit in this because um, why he didn't use Lore Master. He has Lore Master, but he never chose to use it, which is what I was wondering of because that was pretty odd that uh, he had so many pips. He had chances to mana burn me and um, he didn't use them. So I started enchanting other spells just in case I might accidentally need them. And then I started using my Dark Nova strategy that every balance should use because it's the easiest way to get a kill on, especially if you're a balance like me with Savage Paw. Because um, Dark Nova does not increase or decrease from hits, so that means it's basically neutral to hits. And at the same time, Savage Paw gives an extra blade, so that makes there be a hit an extra blade plus a shadow blade and the damage goes up at the same time so it's basically like a four or five and one I don't know how many it actually did to help that it's actually a four and five and one and then this is where I got shadow strike luckily nobody in the audience including chase 
none of them knew that you can actually do Shadow Strike with a Shadow uh, Monster spell on. So when I used Shadow Strike, they were all pretty confused. They were like, uh, what's going on? What's going on? They don't know what's happening. And um, when they saw that after the end, before I attacked, they were like, what? What? What's going on? And then next round, I, I used my feint that was in my hand and uh, Chase did Tower Shield thinking that it wouldn't take that much. But luckily with the help of an extra... Um, with an extra trap, even without the trap, it still would have killed, but even without the trap, it would kill. Even with the trap, it wouldn't kill, but yeah, this is GG. Uh, thank you, Chase, for battling me. You were a great finals person. Too bad you never really got the chance to hit me at all, but um, it was still a pretty interesting match. Your rank was really high. Your resist and block to balance was really high. At the same time, you still had a really high critical and damage for balance so uh thanks for watching everybody um i hope you guys enjoyed this series sorry for not posting up a video for my last match i actually fought in it but you know all the confusion was going on and it was really confusing so yeah i'll show you guys the badge that i just got right now and um for beating and winning first place on the lots spring official tournament so yeah peace out Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. And um, after this finishes, I'm going to show you my badge. All right. Peace out.